Welcome to Camagua Bay. Camagua Bay is a virtual representation of a marine ecosystem in Alaska. This video provides a glimpse at an early prototype of our virtual performance assessment project. In this research, we are using immersive virtual technology to provide an authentic problem space for assessing a student's inquiry knowledge as defined by the National Science Inquiry Standards. Let's take a closer look at this assessment. The kelp forest in Camagua Bay is depleting. A student plays the role of a scientist and investigates why the kelp forest is shrinking. Immersed in this virtual world, the student can walk around the bay and observe the surroundings. The student will interact with a virtual scientist, shown here, who will provide him or her with assignments that generate student behaviors to score in our performance assessment. Like scientists, the student has tools he or she can use. For example, the tools can measure the amount of nitrates, the temperature of water, the salinity of water, as well as other tools we will add as we further develop this prototype. The student can save data in a digital notebook. In order for the student to make comparisons of data from different kelp forests, he or she can visit a healthy kelp forest in nearby Mokai Harbor. The tasks a student faces are designed so that he or she progresses through various stages of inquiry, such as making observations and inferences to formulate a problem. All of the student's actions in the environment are recorded and then used to create scores that represent his or her knowledge about various subskills that comprise science inquiry. Unobtrusively, we are capturing the student's time-stamped actions to use in scoring various inquiry subskills in the performance assessment. We believe that interactive, immersive technologies provide a powerful new method for performance assessments that are more valid than paper and pencil item-based tests, as well as more detailed, reliable, practical, and affordable than physical performance assessments.